this is, this is really important for you to understand this. The Bible says to bind the strong man. Now, I'm going to explain this. Some of you that are new to church. It says to bind the strong man. Here's the scripture. I want you to see this is one of the most powerful scriptures. For who is powerful enough to enter the house of a strong man like Satan and plunder his goods? Who do you think you are going into, you know, because we sing those songs, take back what the devil has stolen from you, take back what, and we sing that. But I don't know if we really understand spiritually, you can't take it back until you tie him up and bring him to a point where he is weak and broken. So he is a strong man, meaning you that don't have Christ, don't deal with him, you're going to lose. Some of you that are Christians that have Christ, you got to understand you need him more than you think you do. Because he says he has a house. God has a house. We're talking about build the house. Satan has out. Guess who's in his house? Your relatives. You used to be. Your dreams used to be in his house. All your desires used to be in your house. All that lust that was in his house. All the bonded strongholds was in his house. He had that. How are you going to go plunder his goods when you're not strong enough? So it says this. Only someone even stronger, someone who could tie him up and then plunder. So if some thief came to rob you, usually you're at home. They're going to tie you up and then they'll take your stuff. I wonder at times if we're trying to just speak and get our things back from the devil and we've not shut him down yet. He doesn't really believe we're strong enough to go ahead and take it out of his house. So he's not going to give it up. It's like somebody yelling outside the house, give me this, give me this, give me this. I want this. I want my stuff back. You can stand outside his house all you want to. He says you got to go into his house. you got to tie him up. you got to beat him up. And then you can go ahead and take your stuff back. you got to take it to the devil first. You're going to be in for a fight. You understand? So you're going to have to fight somebody. You're going to have to stand up, and you're going to have to fight somebody and take them down. Come on up, Scott. Come on, get Scott a hand here for just being so brave. Let's move the pulpit back. Get the pulpit back. Here, take all this stuff out. I don't want to, here, take it, pull all the way here. Here, what you got? You got glasses? Glasses. You got anything else? You got a wallet? Put your wallet over there. <laughs> you got anything? You got any guns, knives? What you got? You okay? <laughs> Looks like you've done that before. Now, 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 have you ever punched here, been on a punching bag? <clears throat> yes, sir. Go ahead, let, let me, let, let us kind of see what, let me, let me see what I got up here before I, here with it, okay. All right, here we go. All right, that's nice. No, no, go ahead and show me. If that's all you, huh? I want you to get into it. Yeah, I want, to, I want you to show, I want to see what you got here. All right, all right that's good, Scotty. All right, come here, Scott. Now, how many here believe, oh, I'm getting mad now. How many believe, how many believe Scotty is going to put me on the ground uh, raise your hand. You're in your 20s, huh? I'm 60 years old. How many believe I'm going to put Scotty on the ground? Scotty, I don't, we may need somebody bigger here. They don't believe that you can do this. Do you feel you can? You feel you could, huh? I have faith I can. You, huh? I got faith. All right. We'll get over here. Let's see what you got. Now, watch this. In the spiritual sense, what happens is this. We're going to play like you're, you're the enemy, you're the devil, here we are. You're not really. But what happens in the spiritual sense, we're going to go ahead, he's going to come at me, and we're in this fight. Bottom lines, the Bible says that he's stronger than me. 
So many times when we get in these fights here, I end up losing. Ends up being stronger. But then again, the Bible says there's a stronger than he that can come that you and I have in our life. So let me find somebody else because I do have somebody else that God says with me. I'll get somebody smaller than you. I'm going to get somebody smaller than you. Okay, that okay? Just to make it fair. No, no, stay here. I'm not through. No, we're fighting. Don't run off. There's a fight going on. I, I, how much you weigh? Uh, 170. 170. 170. Wow. Uh, I'll get some 140 pounds. Somebody 140. Here's a guy in a red hat. Who are you? Who, this guy in a red hat. Come here. You weigh 140. Wow. What's your name? Jordan. 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 Hi, Jordan. How you doing? This is Scotty. It, just shake hands here. Now, he's smaller. How many believe you, Jordan couldn't beat you, huh? He's got a fight left. <laughs> he bought one. Yeah. So here's my friend, my protector. <laughs> Scotty wants to challenge me. But see, the Bible says the battle belongs to the Lord. Scotty's my angel. No, George's my angel, sorry. (laughs) Scotty's going down. So what happens in a fight, some of you think that you've got to go and battle the enemy, but if you knew who was with you, you could step back. You ready to go? I don't want any hitting, no swinging, shake hands. Start the music. Go. Okay. I plundered his goods. You can sit down, Scotty. I got this. This is Jordan uh, Keckler. He is a MMA fighter, professional fighter. He is a two-time, no, four-time All-American wrestler. He's a bad dude. And Scotty, you wouldn't have much, you wouldn't have much, much uh, defense there. And we had someone 250 pounds at the first service, and he put him down just like that. And then I did a couple, couple elbows on him. Jordan is... Uh, Jordan came. Jordan's also doing some things. You know what, Jordan? Come over here. You're a professional fighter here. Come over here and punch the back. Show, show somebody what a professional looks like hitting something here. Let me, uh, let's watch this here. He's ducking here, huh? Yeah. What if I come up behind you? Now. He tapped out! He tapped out! 